Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Vostro 14 3000 series. The exact model is a Vostro 3400. That's within this 3000 series model. That can be found on the bottom sticker or inside the BIOS. Or you should know which laptop you have, I guess. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery. And this applies for 3000 series laptop. And it has to be a 14, 14 is 14 inch. So I'm going to go over if your battery is not holding up any more charge, it's just draining really quickly. And it just pretty much is bloated, swollen, is, and it's just pushing towards the palm rest. And you can't just do any more click because the battery blows up and it just pushes towards the palm rest. Then you won't want to replace your battery. It's really easy, it takes a few minutes, and I'll leave the link for a compatible battery in the video description in case you want to purchase yours and all the tools that I use for this process. I'll give you a tip on how to keep the performance of the battery at the best level possible at the end of the video so you can uh, do that once in every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at best shape possible. All right, just remember by replacing the battery, you're not gonna change anything in the system. Everything's gonna be left the way that you left it before. You're shutting it down, so there's no extra configuration in there. So first thing first, power up the laptop, flip it upside down, grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be recommending an iFixit screwdriver set as I've purchased for myself. This basic set that it comes with a screwdriver and bits. If you get the pro set, it's a little expensive, but it's worth it sometimes and they give you an opening tool, tweezers, and stuff like that. If not, for the opening tools, I use the guitar pick. Metallic guitar picks are suitable for opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna remove all the screws except two screws, one on each corner in the back. These screws, they have something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw coming up entirely and it has a different purpose, and I'll show you that in a second. So you're gonna leave these two screws for the end, we're gonna remove the ones in here, two sides and three in the in the front. So go ahead and remove all these screws. They're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out to you do your own upgrades or services, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove these screws, now, these two screws in the corner, they have a C-lock, and the C-lock, what it does, it counter pushes the bottom cover from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating, you're gonna see a gap opening. That's because of the C-lock that is pushing the power away. So you just wanna rotate until you feel like a few clicks, and that's it, you just wanna stop rotating. Otherwise, you're gonna be rotating forever. Same thing in this side, rotate, and let go. Now, you can use an opening tool here as a guitar pick to put it right in there and just about two or three millimeters, not the whole thing, between the cover and the palm rest, and just flip it like this, rotate all around in the front. I usually do the front side. Once I do the front, I'm gonna grab it, put my finger there, and just lift it up. You wanna hear those click sounds, that's fine. Those are the tiny clips are getting loosened. So that's what you think, like you're breaking, but you're not breaking, you're just looking up the bottom clips. And the battery is right in front of the laptop on the front, right under the trackpad. This is a 42 watt hour battery. The model is an YRDD6, 11.4 volt. To remove this battery, it's really simple. First, you wanna lift up this gaffer's tape, peel it up towards the back so you can expose that white plastic. Next, what you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of this white plastic in here, not on the jack, and then you want to push it towards the battery. I can't grab it. Bring it towards the battery. So you want to grab it from the side of here, not from the jack, from the side corner of this one. That's why it has a little tiny earlobes on the side. You want to grab it from here by your nail, and you want to pull it back. Don't grab this whole once you disconnect it, we're gonna remove the three screws on the battery. One, two, three. There's no screw in here. So remove the three screws that hold the battery in place. All right, these are tiny chroma screws. 
And then you want to lift up the battery, pull it towards the front because this one, instead of they putting a screw there, they put a little la latch there so it just goes under the plastic and just hooks right in underneath. And there we go. So there's a three cell battery. And this is the trackpad. Sometimes when it just gets swollen, it pushes towards the trackpad and you can feel that click in here. And to, once you get the new battery, it doesn't come with this uh, cable. You want to pull this cable from here and then straight pull it back. It should come out. It's sometimes really tough. There we go. It comes out. So it comes like this. And you want to grab this uh, adapter and you want to slide it in there. And make sure it goes all the way in. Once it's all the way in there, grab it. Put the hook right under this plastic here. Align the screw holes. Put it right on top. But before doing this, I really like to put it in an offset position so I have more room to play with this jack. So I'll put it like this. And I set the jack right in front of the connector. And then evenly, I want to push it, pinch them together, push them together right in there. And then I'll bring this one in and I'll put the battery in place and put the three screws over. That way it gives me better space to work with the connector. And then finish it off by putting up the three screws right on the battery. Right, once you finish with this one, all you want to do, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push the corner, and you want to hear those click sounds all the way. Don't push the back corners, just back mid and the sides. And then tighten up the screws on the back corners, and it's going to pull the cover to itself. And to finish it off, just press the rest of the screws on the bottom power. Now, regarding the new battery, once you put the new battery in, you do not want to power it on right away. You want to leave it charging for at least four to five hours, at least I would say four hours, without powering it on. So you charge the battery completely. After that, you want to unplug the charger and you turn on the laptop and put a light work, some movies, very light, and bring the brightness down to 40% and let the laptop discharge itself slowly. Don't put any games on a heavy load, anything like that, down to 30, 20%. After 30, 20%, you wanna power it off. Again, leave, the, leave it charging while it's off for another four to five hours. After that, you can just use it as you wish, charge it without the charger, the way you want it. That initial charge and discharge is very important for the new battery. And you should do that in this cycle once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at the peak performance possible. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. This is how you upgrade or replace the battery for your Dell Vostro 14 3000 series.